In problem number 25 of section 2.4, we're given a bunch of functions that are defined in terms of the exponential function and a function f of x, which we assume to be differentiable everywhere. Uh, we're asked to find the derivative of g of x. So our first function is g of x equals e to the f of x. Now this is going to be a chain rule problem. This is the exponential function applied to f of x. So we first uh, take the derivative of the outside. So we have e and evaluate it at the, in, um, at the inside function. So e of f of x. And then multiply by the derivative of the inside function. So f prime of x. Uh, part B is similar, except now instead of f of x, we have f of e of x. Uh, this is going to be a same strategy. Uh, we'll apply the same strategy to solve this problem, but we'll need to apply the chain rule twice, actually. So first off, we start out with, well, take the derivative of the outermost function, which is the exponential, and evaluate that at f of e of x. Now next we need to take, multiply this by the derivative of f of e of x, which is itself a composition. So first step is to multiply by f prime of e of x, evaluating at the inside. And finally multiplying by the derivative of the inside of this function here, the composition e of f or excuse me, the composition of f of e, e to the x. So we multiply by the derivative of e to the x, which is just e to the x. Right. And part c, uh, g of x equals f of e to the 1 over x. So again, we have uh, a twofold application of the chain rule. You see that g prime of x. Well, we first take the derivative of f and evaluate it at the point e to the 1 over x. And next we multiply by uh, the derivative of e to the 1 over x. So, which now we need to apply the chain rule one more time. So we have e evaluate at the point 1 over x times the derivative of 1 over x, which if we see the derivative of 1 over, or 1 over x is the same as x to the minus 1. So uh, applying the power rule, we see this is minus x to the minus 2, or minus 1 over x squared. So we're mo really multiplying this by negative 1 over x squared. And finally, in part D, we're given g of x equals f of x times e of x. Now, there's no chain rule here, but we will need to apply the product rule. So take the derivative of the first part of the product and multiply it by the second. And then we add the same thing, but in, in reverse. So we take the first term and leave it alone and then multiply it by the derivative of the second term, which is just e to the x. Right, now we can simplify this a little bit by factoring out e to the x. And that leaves us with f prime of x plus f of x.